Hi there, I'm Brandy from Pepperco Digital, and in this video, I'll be going over how to use page inserts in your digital planner and walk you through how to copy and paste and duplicate page inserts in GoodNotes. So let's go ahead and just get started. So first, let's go over the basics of what page inserts are. Um, so if you're totally new to digital planning, you'll know exactly what they're meant to be used for and how to use them. So if you're using one of my digital planners, then I include tons of different page inserts that you can use over and over again anywhere you want in your planner. Uh, they're there for you to plan as in-depth as you need and keep track of all different types of info. So there's a few different scenarios that you could use page inserts in. Uh, you can use them wherever they're at in your planner and just duplicate it each time you want to use it. Uh, or you could stick them after or before a specific day, week, or month page to organize them that way. Or you could insert it into a custom section you created for a specific need. So first let's use the example of duplicating the page where it's at in your planner and you're not sticking it anywhere else, you're just kind of keeping it where it's at but you're duplicating it first to be able to use it. So in this specific planner that I'm using as, as an example, I have all of the different page inserts for that category of inserts hyperlinked on a cover page for that section. So for instance, if I go to the financial tab, it has all these different financial type page inserts hyperlinked on here. And then when you just tap on it, it goes to that page insert. So in this scenario, you may just wanna keep all your different financial type page inserts within this section and, and not move them anywhere else. So in that case, you would just wanna duplicate this page because regardless of if you're duplicating it or moving the page, insert to be somewhere else you're going to always want to duplicate it or make a copy first so you always have this clean version to come back to anytime you want to use it so there's a couple different ways you can duplicate page inserts in good notes the first and easiest that i think is tapping on this add page icon in the top right corner so when you tap on that these options come up and you're going to want to know whether you want this to go before after or last page that just sticks it at the end of the document and this instance, I'm just going to keep after selected so it will insert the page after. And then if you see here, this current template option, this is just whatever page you're on. So if you go to a different page, it's going to change that current template to this page. So just make sure that you're on the page that you want to duplicate and hit on the add page icon and then just tap on current template and it inserts a copy of that page right after it. So that's the quickest and easiest way to duplicate a page really quickly, but you can also duplicate by going to the thumbnail view in the top left corner here and then see that the page is highlighted that I'm on and you would just tap on the down arrow on that page and then you can tap on duplicate. So it does the same sort of thing, it just inserts it after and you have another copy. So if you just want to be able to use the page insert wherever it's currently at in your planner, you would just want to duplicate it. So that's the first example of using page inserts and just um, duplicating them. But another way that you can use page inserts is by copying them and pasting them after a planning page, like a monthly, weekly, or daily page. So this is really nice to do if it is related to that day, week, or month, and you want to be able to access it with that specific planning page. So for instance, say that you want to, let's go to my planning tab here. I have a monthly review here. Let's say we want to use this monthly review page, but we'd really like to be able to put it with the month that we're doing the monthly review for. So what you would want to do is copy this page and then paste it where you want it. So again, there's a couple ways you can do this in GoodNotes, but uh, the first one is I think the quickest. So first we need to copy this page. We just come up to the three dots in the top right corner and then tap on copy page. So now the page is copied and then you're gonna wanna go to the page that you want the copied page to be inserted after. So in this case, it is um, the month page. So let's just go to a random month and say we want it after uh, this June, 2021 month. So all we would have to do is tap on the add page icon. And then in this case, I want it to go after. So I'll keep that selected as after. And then you just tap on paste page. And now it inserts that copied page right after the month page. So now I can just flip back and forth to that page and do my monthly review. And it's all nice and organized with that monthly page. 
So that's one example of copying and pasting a page with a specific planning page. But to show you the other way that you can copy and paste page inserts in GoodNotes, I will uh, do another example. So let's say that, for instance, you have a really busy day and the to-do list on the daily planning page just isn't long enough for you. So you could just grab a to-do list and in this specific planner I have it um, separated out from personal and work. So say you have a really busy day and this page would be perfect for you to be able to uh, record all your tasks for the day. So let's go ahead and copy this page. No matter what, you're always gonna need to copy it first. But another way you can paste the page is go to the page that you want it to go after. So let's just go to a daily page. And then instead of tapping on the add page icon, you would go to the thumbnail view, tap on the down arrow on the page you want it to go after, tap on add page after, and then paste page. And then it inserts that page after that page. So it's the same sort of thing where it, it, you copy it and you paste it, but that's just another way you can paste the page. But the quickest way is just to do the add page icon up here, in my opinion. So now we have that to-do list right after that um, daily page and same sort of thing. You can just flip back and forth, fill out your to-do list, flip back, fill out the rest of your daily page. And this is just another example of how nice it is to be able to copy page inserts and stick them elsewhere in your planner. Okay, and the last scenario of using page inserts that I wanna go over is um, inserting pages into your own custom section. So in this planner, I have six different custom sections that you can use and you can create it for whatever you want and whatever need you may have. And let's just go to section one here. So this just acts as like a cover page for that section. Um, sort of think of it as a um, tab divider in an actual binder or notebook. It just separates out sections. So you would just write in whatever section this is gonna be for. So just for example sake, I will go ahead and write, um, let's say we're gonna make this for uh, work projects. And this is just an example. You can, like I said, you can use it for anything. So just some other examples, you could use it for like meeting notes or you could use it for recipes or meal planning or um, mood boards. It could really be for anything, but I'm just gonna use this as an example. So we labeled our section and now we wanna be able to insert page inserts. So I have a work section in this planner. So let's get a project planner page. So same sort of thing, we would just copy the page and then go to the section and paste the page in the section. So we have our uh, first page in the section and you'll see the next one is just the second section. So you can kind of see how it just, you know, uh, divides out each section. So you would just go ahead and insert any pages that you want in the section. Let's say I need a note page and I just want a lined note page and I can copy it, and then put it in this section. And then say I want more than one of these line pages and you can just duplicate it really quickly by tapping on current template. Now I have two line pages and I have all these pages in this section and it's all organized and ready to go. So you get the idea of how you can insert page inserts into your custom section. It's all the same sort of concept, but I just wanted to give you um, this specific example in case you didn't realize that you can create your own custom sections. So those are the different scenarios and examples of using your page inserts in GoodNotes and how you would duplicate them or copy and paste them wherever you want them in your planner. You can do this over and over again and it's essentially unlimited as long as you have storage space on your iPad. Uh, I hope this helped answer any questions that you had, but if you still need any clarification or help, just send me a message or comment down below and I would be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy planning!